Hello, I'm Trisha from Real Fluency Now, and today I'm going to teach you some phrasal verbs that use the word get. You may already know that there are many, many phrasal verbs that use the word get. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, that was scary, wasn't it? I'm going to teach you about 25 in this video but likely I have missed a few because there are so many of them. Get on. This means to go in or on something like, it's time to get on the train. Get on with. This means to continue with something, as in, we took a long break, but now it's time to get on with it. Also, it can mean to be friendly with someone, and I've heard this used a little more in British English, but it means means to be to get along with somebody well or to be friends. A sample sentence is, they get on with each other pretty well. Get off means to leave from something like a train or a bus, as in, it's time to get off the train. Get over has two meanings. One is to stop thinking about something, like I was upset for a long time but finally got over it. It can also mean to recover from something, like an illness, like he got over the flu in about a week. Get around can mean to go places or do things, as in, I see her everywhere, she really gets around. Or it can mean to become known, as in, the news about her success got around quickly. It can also mean to find a way to avoid something, for example, this is too hard to do. I need to find a way to get around it. Get around to means to finally do something. For example, it took me a long time, but I finally got around to making this video. Get behind can mean to be at the back of someone or something. As in, if you are scared, get behind the couch where you will be safer. But it can also mean to support something. As in, she's very supportive and got behind all of his, his projects. To get down means to cause someone to feel sad. For example, if all the rain has been getting me down. It can also mean to swallow something, like you really need to get the medicine down so you will feel better. And it can also mean to get good at something. For example, he's been practicing a lot and has really gotten it down well now. Get down to means to get serious about something. You have the whole weekend to study English. It's time to get down to it. Get across. This means to communicate something, as in he was trying to get across an abstract concept, but she didn't understand. Get along or get along with means to be friendly or friends with someone, as in, they get along really well together. Get out means to leave a place or something, as in, we're home, it's time to get out of the car, can also have a slightly different mean to mean to leave your house and do something fun, as in, he's, he's at, he is at his house a lot and doesn't get out often. Get out of, this means to avoid something. I really don't want to do it. I need to find a way to get out of it. Get into. This means to be really interested in something. For example, she really got into rock collecting. Get through or get through to means to explain something. I tried to explain it but couldn't get through to her. It can also mean to survive something, as in, it was very difficult but she got through it. Get after can mean to persuade someone to do something, as in, she won't clean her room unless I really get after her about it. Get up can mean to wake from sleeping, as in, I got up early this morning. It can also mean to leave a position of sitting, as in, it's time to get up and take a walk. Get by means to have just enough of something as in, I have just enough money to get by for a few months. To get at means to reach something, as in, my hand is too big, I can't get at the spoon that fell in the hole. 
It can also mean to suggest something indirectly, as in, you keep talking about my appearance. What are you trying to get at? Get away means to move from someplace, as in, get away from that cake. It's not yours. It can also mean to escape, as in, the thief got away from the police. It can also mean to go someplace for fun, as in, I really need to get away for a while and relax. And the last one, get away with. This means to do something wrong and not get caught. As in, if he thinks he is going to get away with treating me badly, he's mistaken. Okay, it's time for the practice exercises. So fill in the blank with the right phrasal verb that uses get. Number one, I know you are upset, but that was a long time ago. You need to get blank it. Number two, that's a big obstacle. We need to find a way to get blank it. Number three, he cheated on the test and got blank with it. Number four, it's very stressful, but you will get blank it. Number five, he really likes sports and really gets blank baseball. Please tell me in the comments if you want more help with learning and using these phrasal verbs. And if you want to learn more English from me, then please watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.